This is my usage experience of Stag OS for the Realme GT2. I will link the ROM in the description below. I will also link the Telegram group where uh, the ROM can be found. So let's talk about the pros first. First thing is you can see how much customization this ROM has on offer. There are plenty of options come ranging from home screen, notification panel, settings and so on. So many aspects of the ROM can be customized. The ROM is also running Stag OS launcher which means home screen customization are also available. Apart from that you also have this OnePlus extra where you can enable always on display. You can also enable always on display gestures which I have done. I have assigned the right swipe to turn on the ambient display. Fingerprint also can be set to be always on. Apart from that the general performance of this ROM is very nice. The ROM always runs very smooth. Battery life is also a uh, good thing in this ROM, it's not the best, uh, it got around 4.5 to 5 hours of screen on time. The update kind of broke the battery life, so I will be showing Franco Kernel Manager statistics instead of the system stats. You do have the option to unlock 90fps, but uh, the frame rate does not stay at 90fps. I know it's a Snapdragon 888, so it's not as uh, like games are getting heavier and it's not as smooth as you would expect. The phone always stays above 60 fps but it's, it does not stick to 90 as often, it keeps fluctuating, it keeps coming down to 70s and 80s. But overall yeah, the performance is really good, gameplay is very nice. Apart from that you also have some UI elements added into it like the clear all button and the kill app button which comes in handy when, when those app freezes occur. Coming to the cons, the mobile hotspot is not integrated into the uh, internet tile which is very odd. And long pressing the internet, uh, the SIM card does not take you into settings as well. Apart from that, when you turn on battery saver, the background blur of the notification shade goes off, and it's a little weird seeing the background details when you pull the notification shade. But turning the battery saver off uh, fixes that, so that is fine. You do get refresh rate control, but there is no per app refresh rate control like in the stock ROM, which is a very big miss, I would say, in a custom ROM. There is also color shift when the screen goes through 90Hz. There is a little color shift when it goes from 60 to 120 uh, which is very less noticeable unless you are really really looking for it. Uh, it does not use 90fps quite often but when it goes through 90fps you can see the color difference. The ROM also comes with the OnePlus camera by default but uh, as I have noticed in another ROM also switching to video and turning on AI uh, freezes the camera. I do use AI to record low light videos, it comes out pretty good but uh, I have not been able to use it in a custom ROM. So that was my overall experience of the ROM, I hope you like this short kind of video. You can see my Poco F1 also in the background, I will let you know what happened to the phone and why I am using the Realme GT2 right now. So see you guys in the next one.